And now, CBS 21 News First Warning Weather with meteorologist Kirk Clyatt. I'm with you. I know the rain has started to fall, but it just feels like, is this really happening? It is. Take a look at this. Watches and warnings. We've got warnings on top of watches here. What you see in the gray, that is the high wind warning that goes into effect in the morning. A little further down to the south, what you're looking at there, those are blizzard warnings, not watches, but blizzard warnings. Places even here in Pennsylvania, you're going to pick up snow, get into the higher elevations. We could have just a little in our area, if you're up, say, maybe over a thousand feet. Look at this rain making and it's moved. Just checking Cape Hatteras down to the south. They've already had seven inches of rain from this storm. That's incredible. Here are the winds now. The winds are going to be out of the north. They're going to be picking up as we do go through the overnight hours. The wind is really going to start developing tomorrow afternoon. DC 15 miles an hour. Just still seven in Harrisburg, six in York, 10 in Lancaster, 16 in Philadelphia what we're looking at. Now, of course, it doesn't matter what you call this storm. It may become extropical when it makes landfall, but it's not going to weaken that much because it's going to pick up a lot of energy, a lot of energy transfer when you have temperature contrasts and a lot of upper level support, that's what you're going to look like. So we're going to go from a warm core storm to maybe a cold core storm, but 70 mile an hour winds are 70 mile an hour winds. And as the storm moves in, look at this tomorrow. This is five o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And then here comes the eye of the storm tomorrow early morning, well, actually Tuesday morning. You might even have the winds die down a little bit as what is left of the eye of the storm makes its way over central Pennsylvania. An amazing event. Now, rainfall, let's just start you here. Here we are, right about now, a little bit after midnight. Just look at the numbers. They tell the story as we go Monday into Tuesday. Look at this. This is Tuesday afternoon. The numbers just keep adding up. Tuesday at 5, York 6 and a third inches, 6 inches in Lancaster, over 5 inches in Harrisburg. And this is just through Tuesday at 5. So flood watch, expect 5 to 8 inches. We're 3 inches above normal for the year. The winds... Expect 70 mile an hour winds. I'm thinking Lancaster, you could have even stronger winds. I want everybody now to prepare for 70 mile an hour winds about 24 hours from now, continuing during the overnight. 58 was the high today. It'll stay in the 50s, right about what we are now. 52 degrees is what you can expect during the day tomorrow. Barometric pressure 29.68 and heading down that to Coot, we could see a 28 there. And here you get an idea of that temperature contrast. So that cold air is going to start to move in, especially on Tuesday. We're going to be dealing with the rain and temperatures in the 40s on Tuesday. And here's the reason we've got that storm. Look at this slingshot with the jet stream. Where else can this storm go except here to home for us? So tomorrow, heavy rain is what we're looking at throughout the day with strong winds in the mix. Temperatures in the 50s, 40s on Tuesday and Wednesday. Higher elevation snow developing to the west of us. Here's a look. Here's the latest update and really limited change as far as Sandy goes. Pressure 2805, gust to 92. Still hurricane force winds. The hurricane center still considering it a hurricane. And look at that massive wind field as that storm does make landfall. And we deal with the rain right on through Wednesday. Wednesday with this storm. Biggest issue initially is going to be the winds, then it's going to be the flooding. Coming up at the end of the newscast, we'll talk about the river levels going up. They're going to be approaching action stage even on the main stems of the river. And of course, creeks could reach flood stage. We'll detail some of that timing for you as we get towards the end of the newscast. So just prepare for the worst. I hope you're ready. I hope you've listened to the warnings and are set to go. And of course, we'll be with you here on CBS 21. Okay, thanks so much. And as you